hypothetical Jones. Do, 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 do. Water break. Give it a swig, give it a spin. Water break, but don't let my water break. Wait, didn't we do this? What happened? Did I do something? Did I mess up? Did I... Oh, that's the genie speech. Did I rub your lamp? Did I do something? Dragging on. Drag! Come on, Shrek. That's all I'm thinking of now. To the dragons, I like Shrek, the movie. Damn, Shrek! I'm sorry about the dick smell! I can't help it! Let me reintroduce this episode, though. Tiger. Coco. Yes, we're on the correct level now. Let me sit down my water. I think you can hear it. Let me just move it. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention I got a package from Etsy. So I will probably unbox this at the end. Live unboxing here. Okay, so let's get back into this again. Let me hit you with the intro. Hello, y'all. No, not hello, y'all. Oh. That's a good intro. Fuck this. No birthday cards. But hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Take three. Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back yet again, once again, all the time, on the Kenny Ballin channel. New to the game name B Kenny Ballin. How is y'all out there tonight? Get ready for the rockinest time of your life. We're off to a great start. 72, please remind me when it hits 69. We're getting back into the Kenny Bong groove. Akano, I actually do like Akano as a power up, I'll be honest. As much as I don't care for him as a mask, he's very bland in personality, but people do like that. People like the grumpy blandness personality types. That's why certain people are, are fans of Hulk, me included. But I like Hulk for relatability, story purposes, I don't know. He's an interesting character, a very smart man. Uh, grounded and well trapped in a grounded way you know grounded in a trapped way by his own anger and self-hatred or something I don't know wow I made it I didn't expect that spoke too soon speak of the metaphorical devil Hypotheticals are my name. Hypotheticals are my game. That would be really bad. If my name was. If my name and game was. I'm a swing like I'm Tarzan. I'm a swing like a man. I'm sorry for gendering. My apologies. I know I said I was on a no apology streak, but we gotta. Well, that was weird. I never did that. But we gotta respect genders here, people. If we don't respect genders, where does it end? Soon we'll be disrupting people's kitchens. And I can't have that. Just mopped. Sushi time in a place with no sushi. Sushi time all the time. Yeah. Ooh, gotta love the kawaii-ass music. 
And that's just me paraphrasing what character Tana does say in the solo, in her solo level for this level? Or the last level, I don't remember. I think it was the last level. She gets her own story for it. She says, Oh, oh Kawaii. Kawaii. Uh, I did not get the tape this time. I really don't know whether to try for the tapes or not. Okay. There's something over here, I think, right? I thought it was the gems over here or something. Wow, I almost died. Because I'm trying to get a gem, I don't even know if it's real or not. I forgot to, I forgot to set a timer. We're just trudging through the game. I don't know, it feels like I'm saying, like, let's just finish this game so that I can just move on to other games. So it's like, no, I actually really just want to play more of this game because I feel like I don't play enough of it on the channel. Like, I just play a little bit, and then that's it. I don't get to it for a while because I gotta edit, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to play too much because then I gotta edit more videos. And I was just like, yeah, I'll record two. I'm like, nah, let me record three because I enjoyed this session, actually. Okay, there's nothing over there then. I'm just gonna delete all of that. Little baby Andrea. You were born in the darkness. <laughs> Molded by it. Man, I thought I still had Akano. I don't like how easily Akano goes away because he's like purple, so it kind of just blends into the environment as opposed to when uh, Lolly Luli, Loli Lolly disappear, disappear. disappears or the other characters disappear. Because they just feel more noticeably gone. And it's like, yeah, he doesn't even change my outfit that much. Oh, but maybe that's my fault. Because of the outfit I chose being purple. I don't know. We can sit here. Play the blame game. Blame Obama all we want, but... Those days are gone. Old men dead and gone, dead and gone. Trying to find my way back home. Oh, what the? Oh, I think I messed this up. Well, thank God we're in the bonus stage. Oh. Yeah, it says it differently. Damn it. Stop. <laughs> no. All right. This this game just frustrates me. Not in a frustrating way, just... I don't know. It just takes too much thinking. Too much brain power. What? I don't know how to get that box. Is it even gonna matter? Every time I do that, like when I just miss one because I don't know what to do.
Really, what is that box? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to just... Damn it. I am going into an existential crisis. I'm losing my mind over this. There we go. Finally did it. Finally. I will be avenged. Okay. God, it's so hard to stay still. I really hate this. I really hate this. There we go, 22 out of 22. I wish my grades looked like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. I dropped out of college when Black Panther came out. That's one of my favorite facts, is that as soon as I dropped out of community college, I did not go to a university, despite what you may believe. Uh, 79. Man, I'm still racking up lives. Even though I'm playing like ass, like booty. Subscribe to my OnlyFans so you can see my booty playing. Yeah, it's rewind time. That's that was bad, Joe. Please do not applaud for that. I mean, you can clap for ass. That's a favorite charity of mine. Clap for ass so that ass will clap. But, what was I speaking about? I don't recall. How bizarre. So let's see. Mwahaha. Is that something? No, it's just a ledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope y'all had a happy Honda days. Is that a nationally celebrated holiday? I do not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 gotta, gotta pull it back. No, and I blew it. I blew it. You blew it. A book of I... I've become so numb. I can't feel you there. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. See, you made me go insane game. And now I'm quoting Linkin Park and still losing. Please let me finish this level. Please, please, please. Well, that works. Do the Aku Aku masks even uh, transfer over in levels? I don't know what's going on with the mic. I mean, physically. I mean, me, more where I want to put it. Yeah, nothing to do with the actual mic. It's just me being inconsistent. 
And as I said, Akano is my favorite to mask. I lied. He's just hard to control. I feel this episode's gonna be long. I can barely see that. That's the main problem here. You're playing this way, let me just move it like that. There. There we go. I was just leaning. That's what I couldn't tell was off. There it goes, like feng shui, I just fixed it. I fixed the energy in this room, demons. Man, I don't like Insidious. People always say, that was a great movie, it was ass. It was booty. Man, I have 12 deaths. Up to the 36 chambers. Okay, let me go on the insidious rant then. I'm not the biggest horror movie person, it's not I dislike them or anything, I just haven't really watched any, or I've watched some. I recently watched uh, the John Carpenter's Halloween, the original 1979 movie. I'm honestly not going to look it up because I'm not too familiar with it. It's around that time. It was a really good horror movie. And then I've heard people's opinions on Insidious and they're like, it's really good for a horror movie. And it's like, no, it's not. It's just full of jump scares. And the spoilers, the demon at the end looks... Oh, I messed that up. But the demon at the end looks like Darth Maul and I said, get out. Get out of my house. Don't ever recommend a movie again. Uh, yeah, aside from that, Insidious is just, uh, Poltergeist, don't at me. And I don't like the original Poltergeist, I like the remake, the 2016 remake, I don't remember. But, the new... Okay. I like the new, were, Poltergeist remake, that was... Gil Keenan, I believe, specifically, if that is not his name and I messed it up, the guy who directed Monster House. Great Halloween film, even if it's not a horror movie or anything that fancy. And I did all that for nothing, because I still missed boxes. Hallelujah. I think it's the glasses that made me just think of Medea. Not a Medea fan, unfortunately. I mean, if you're the biggest Tyler Perry fan out there, then I guess we cannot communicate on that level. Oh, I'm running. Let's see. If I can get through this one quick, we'll, we'll tack on the boss fight. We're doing both. I forgot to do the tape level. Shut up. R -r -r Rewind time. T -t 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 Today, Junior. Favorite Adam Sandler quote in the bag. Let's just rush through this one. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try and lie to you. I'm not doing this one 100% boxes or anything because the wall jump level is just hard. It just is, and I'm gonna miss something. Okay, we get it, you got a hard-on for Cortex, but you hate him. We get it. Just kiss already. I should put a spoiler warning just in case. Spoilers. I'm just full of spoilers today. Spoiler alert slash fun fact, did you know that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father? If you didn't, you've been spoiled. Oh well. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Just felt like the whole room stopped. 
the ambiance is gone. Nope. Nope, Joss Sweden. Joss Sweden made the Avengers and then he ruined it with Age of Ultron. And that's not me disrespecting Age of Ultron. I actually like Age of Ultron. And I think some people didn't like the way that James Spader played him. I don't really care for James Spader. I think he ruined The Office. But that's not him. That's more the writing. Definitely the writing. Not James Spader because he is a good actor and has a beautiful voice. Man, I almost fumbled. But no, James Spader is a great actor, definitely has a beautiful voice, and I like the way he played at least the Ultron that was written for Age of Ultron. I don't really know anything about Ultron, so that's why I'm only speaking about the cinematic Ultron, because I don't know... I mean, I know that... Sorry, I don't want to speak over him, but I know that Ultron was originally created by Hank Pym, but they hadn't gotten to... Hank Pym and Ant-Man stuff in the MCU yet. Best character in the MCU, Scott Lang, Paul Rudd. Quick shout out. Is that an owl? That's cool. They put owls in this game. Why is there an owl? I should probably check, make sure that isn't an owl IRL. I guess not. I don't even know if there's owls around here. Yeah, I can't get past that. Is that correct? I didn't check. If that was all the boxes. Side. Oh yeah. I like Ant-Man. As a movie. As an MCU movie. MCU character. Blah blah blah. But, yeah, I stand by Age of Ultron is... Decent. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was good. Well, it's because it has my favorite uh, MCU character. Oh, almost got bursted by the fire. Through the fire and flames. Oh yeah, that's the common meme that everyone knows through the fire and flames because of like Guitar Hero or something like that. <clears throat> For me, I think at this point I'm more familiar with Through the Fire and Flames because I would confuse it with another song that I was familiar with. And it's not that they sound similar at all. I just thought they were... I just misplaced the songs, but I always thought Through the Fire and Flames or whatever. Uh, who, is, who does Through the Fire and Flames? But I believe I would mix it up with Dragon Force's Fury of the Storm. I'll check all of this way later, because I'm not going to do it right here live. Okay. Narrowly escaped death. Oh, I forgot that box. Ooh. My depth perception didn't kick in, and I'm glad. Let's go, let's go! Autobots, roll out. I just like that phrase. Whatever, just run through the flames. There we go. Running, I'm doing parkour like the Matrix, hardcore parkour. Or parkour parkour, I don't know what the office quote is, honestly. Parkour! Wow, I got burnt alive. I've only been impaled. I knew that was a mistake to leave that box. And we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and you wait, and you wait. 
God, out of all the actual South Park references, I picked that one. Again, this... Wait, this is like China. And I was thinking of Aladdin again. Do I know any Mulan things? No. Controversial opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of Mulan, the original animated movie. Definitely didn't like the live action remake they made. It was terrible. Garbage. Should I just do a really long episode? I'm sorry, I just like the Mulan songs, but I only like two of them. No, no apologizing. That's it. Oh. No, the greatest thing, and only thing, that Mulan did in fact give us was that Szechuan sauce. Gotta have the Szechuan sauce. No, actually, uh, give me a sec. Actually, the Szechuan sauce was ass. Uh, is that what I want? No. Hold on. Sorry, just fixing audio stuff. As I was intelling, the Mulan Szechuan sauce that made a reappearance. I wouldn't know about the original because of the fact that I don't... Oh wait, I think Mulan came out in 90... Wait, I can spin on that? Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. Eh, it's easier this way. Anyways, Mulan came out 98, I believe, so I was like a year old. So I definitely didn't have any Szechuan sauce when it came out. But Justin Roiland went on a campaign to bring it back, and by that I mean he just made a reference in his animated TV show, and the fan base is toxic and wild, so they demanded it. So it got brought back, and it wasn't good. And I was really disappointed because I trusted Justin Roiland. Seems like a dude with food adequacy tastes. Not that he would like good food, but it would be worth checking out. It was not. Went through so much to get some Szechuan sauce like everyone else. Smoke. You don't want that smoke. You don't want none of the smoke. You ain't come out of the barbecue. You don't understand when you gotta leave around noon. Gotta leave high rule at. N gotta leave high rule at high noon. Huh? Sorry, that was not a very good presentation just in the format. <sighs> I'm getting infuriated, a little bit constipated with anger, get a little bit of the hankering. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit angry when everybody get off of the no, no time for freestyling. Because the brain is dead. And by that I mean my brain, not the character. He's right here feeding us information through Embryo. It's like he never left.
Missed two boxes. Not that bad. Well, we gotta take on the boss before I end this. Okay, so we'll end it at the boss. Yeah, we'll do the boss, end it, and then I'll do the tapes next time. Look at that trouble brewing. Now this boss fight gets a little annoying, but I kind of like it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh good, you've arrived. And now for your reward. I don't want it, but I just want to see Maurice LaMarche's attempt at the Joker. Vocal role as the Joker, obviously. But obviously it's weird because he is uh, Mr. Freeze. I don't know if he's indefinitely Mr. Freeze now, but he definitely was in the Arkham games, which I would love to play on the channel. It definitely will at some point, just don't know when. Maybe I'll do it. Yeah. I think I might know when I'll do it. This is literally the same as the first game. That's kind of the only beef I have, but... That boss fight was still actually really fun too. The boss fight from the original first Crash Bandicoot game is what I'm referring to. With this fight being similar. Oh, he's going, he's going sicko mode, he went Hulk. I don't like the way it looks in this game, though. Oh yeah, I have to... I have to do this. Yeah, Akano moves too much, so I have to switch it off after I hit him. Otherwise it would just be on all the time. Yeah, because he can... Yeah. That happens. And it just leaves me like this for way too long. We're gonna do this. Let's go, Iron Man. Man, I wish Hulk had a song. Let's see if I can find one. Someone at the door? Let's go. I can do this all day. There we go. <laughs> and I died. R.I.P. Mr. Grinch. Oh, he's got the five o'clock shadow going on. And now, my final test, taste my Why does this boy got a stutter? Uh, Michael, wake up. Ew. No. <laughs> oh. All right. So that's about it. Well, that's all for today. This is just going to show you the inverted mode. Being that all the levels we just did... Oh, yeah. So now, basically all the levels we just did, they have reverse sides being that... You can play them all over again. And you have to get the same amount of coins. Uh, not coins. Diamonds. Gems. The same amount of gems. Oh, we're going classic crash. We're switching back. Because I'm doing this so I don't forget for next time. We're ending it with classic crash. But here, let me, I guess, just show you... I can show you an example next time. But basically, you can do all the levels all over again, the same, they'll just put a filter over the level, and now you have, quote unquote, a new level. Eh, see, even Crash isn't impressed. 
let's just at least end into the next. Look at that, it's Mardi Gras. Ooh, and he's doing some fresh dance. So look, we're out in Louisiana. Ooh, that's hard. So, I don't know why I felt the need to do this, but this is the way we're leaving it. Until next time, my friends, my beloveds. Um, this is where we part ways for the night. I'll see you around, maybe. I love y'all. Take care, drive safely. Once again, I love y'all, and see you soon. Bye. Hello, welcome to episode number of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. During the recording session, I received a package from Etsy. So it'll be unboxing time for this video, I figured. Um, yeah, it took off all the incriminating details so let's just open Man, I, don't know. I don't know how to open things so this is ugly all right all right what the f here it is who framed Roger Rabbit's signed script? I, I, I don't I don't think it's genuine. I think someone copied. I think someone made copies of it. I don't think it had an authenticity thing. I honestly kind of just wanted this for the script. So there, there you go. You can see the script I bought off Etsy, because that's what I do. I like movies, and I like buying things. Hence the name Kenny Ballin. Welcome to the channel. By the way, this is the third draft. There you go. I don't know if that'll come out right, but it's the third draft.